This episode's going to involve color-coded footballs, isn't it? Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 123rd episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 11th episode of Season 3 titled Fourth Down and Long. At school, we're in Mr. Wilton's class? That dude's still around? That's cool, I guess. According to Billy, Rocky's famous football player Uncle Joe is going to be speaking to the football team later that day. And some random kid named Alan next to Rocky is impressed by this. Then Mr. Wilton tells them to put on their goggles and start mixing things. Rocky asks Alan to read the equations from the textbook for him, and he does. And Rocky does just as he says, but it causes a big plume of smoke. Mr. Wilton says that they have to bail to wait for the smoke to clear. Rita sees this and talks about how to kill the rangers while Zed and Golar are playing with a football? Finster drops his magic centipede on the football on accident and it creates a monster. Then the monster, who's known as Centivac, tosses a football at Rito, turning him into a football. They then play with Rito in a football form, laughing before Rita turns him back into normal. In the hallway at school, the smoke is just billowing at this point and Bulk and Skull come in, attempting to take control of the situation. Mr. Wilton does all but ignore them, telling everyone to go back inside the classroom, and it turns out Bulk and Skull have been assigned to guard Uncle Joe. They then bump into Alan as they leave, and Aisha picks up his books that he drops, and she asks Billy to look at the notes to see if there's anything that Alan could have done wrong. Apparently, the elements are all reversed. Mr. Wilton says that because Alan's grades are bad, apparently, He's going to suggest to the head coach that he gets suspended from the football team. I mean, why would you just say that in front of three other students? Rocky volunteers to help Alan study instead, and Mr. Wilton agrees. At the youth center, Alan and Rocky are studying, and Rocky asks why he sucks at school since he's so smart. I mean, Jesus Christ, can we just get on with it? Then Alan basically goes out of his way to explain what dyslexia is without ever saying it before Rocky mentions his uncle, and Alan is afraid they may have missed Uncle Joe's talk to the football team. They rush off to catch him. At the football field, Bulk and Skull run up, talking to Uncle Joe, and they say that they're going to protect him, and they ask him to sign the back of parking tickets. Then, Centiback shows up, freaking out Bulk and Skull while Alan and Rocky show up, rushing in. Then Skull gets turned into a football, followed by Bulk, before Alan just catches the football, and he says, Uh-oh. And then he gets turned into a football. <laughs> Okay, that probably wasn't supposed to be funny, but it definitely was. Then the demon football flies towards Rocky, but Uncle Joe catches it instead, also turning into a football. This is like the lamest attack ever. Rocky gets pissed and morphs, fighting Centiback. He contacts Zordon, who says that Alpha is going to send in the other rangers while Rocky rolls away from a ball. Then the other five rangers rush in and Rocky is pussing out already. Rita and Zed see this, and they decide to send down the Tangas. Rocky finally takes his time to explain to the others to not touch the damn football before we get a weird-ass football thing. Seriously, how are the Tangas getting the football without turning into one? Then Centerback does God's work by getting rid of Tommy. Soon follows is Billy, Adam, and Kimberly, while Rocky decides to go handle Centerback, and Aisha's just dancing in the background. Literally do something, Aisha. Then Aisha gets turned into a football, too. Kind of feels familiar, huh? Rocky calls Zordon and they teleport out right away. At the command center, Rocky wants to know how to win, and Zordon basically says, yeah, there's no way. Rocky is doing science-y crap again, and he says that, that since the footballs emitted energy waves, they could just reverse them and turn them upside down, and it should resolve the issue. I'm sorry, what? That makes literally zero sense. The alarms go off, and Alpha says that the monsters have moved to the footballs to the mountainside of Angel Grove. And there's a snowstorm incoming? Then Zordon says that they should call Ninjor, who appears literally a second after they call his name. There's so much going on right now. Rocky updates Ninjor, and Ninjor says that football is his favorite sport. Great. Then Alpha gives them devices, which are literally plastic tubs with dyed rope and a random light bulb. Rocky and Ninjor move out. They target Centiback, and Rocky catches the football in his device sending it back to Bulk, Skull, Alan, and Uncle Joe, turning them back into normal. Then Alpha just teleports them out of there, like that wouldn't have been really traumatizing. Then Ninjor catches the evil football, turning the rangers back to normal. And Saba says that he's fine. Legitimately forgot that you existed, buddy. Rita and Zed make Centiback grow giant as it starts to snow randomly. Not like they were just in the damn desert a second ago, huh? Whatever, they call out their ninja zords, forming the Falcon Ninja Megazord. Also, can we talk about how every other zord is called 
the color, the animal, Ninja Zord. But Tommy says it's called the White Ninja Falcon Zord for some reason. Ninja joins them as well. Ninja gets hit down like once and then he gets mad converting into battle mode. And between his sword slashes and the rangers just punching him, Centipak is dead. On the moon, Zed and Rita fight about how bad the monster was before they all start to blame Finster for absolutely no reason. At the youth center, the rangers are with Alan and Uncle Joe, and then Lieutenant Stone shows up with a football, asking them why they weren't at the football field, saying that they're going to be crossing guards from now on, tossing the football at them, which, understandably, scares them pretty badly, and they end up getting fruit on them. Uncle Joe says that dyslexia is, uh, Alan's issue, so... Whatever the end. Now we see the center back over the ending credits and sped up footage for no reason whatsoever. This episode is cool for one thing only. A new location. Seriously, that football field has never been seen before, and it's pretty nice to see a new place. But that's pretty much it. This episode's kind of ham-fisted, and it almost hurts, and it comes off as like a season 2 plot stuck in a season 3 production quality. Also, why are we getting yet another Rocky episode so soon? Seriously, this guy has no character. Next time we begin a two-parter, but until then, may the power protect you.